Hey guys, King of Trias here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you the most powerful Reggie Steel team in Great League. Supported by two ridiculously overpowered XL Pokemon, Sableye and Metacham, Reggie Steel in the back serves its purpose in nuking all of your hopes and dreams to legend. Or in this case, in, well, actually, no, you could use Reggie Steel in like season 10 because you know it came out? Yeah, you could use it in season 10. So when Great League came back around, you probably saw a bunch of Reggie Steels terrorizing the meta. And to this day, I have seen some Reggie Steels around, but this team is obscenely powerful. Ranking at the number three most powerful team, only a few points behind the top, the other top two teams, being used by 1.3%, which means a lot of people were using this powerful team to victory. The only difference I use between Medicham and Sableye, or like Medicham in general, is that I'm actually using a Power Up Punch Psychic Medicham. Due to the meta and the lack of flyers, I figured that, you know what, Power of Punch and Revving Up will set you up for shield breaking strats for Ro Reggie Steel can sweep. So I just like Power of, I mean, Ice Punch isn't the wrong thing, but Power of Punch has more viability against a lot of different combinations. And at the same time, you don't get walled by opposing Reggie Steels because, or like Pancakes. Well, Ice Punch does neutral damage, but not as much as Revved Up Power Punches would do with that plus one potential with Metacham. So, as you see here, 579, high rating, lots of usage. If we go on to what its actual rating is overall, you're utilizing three super meta Pokemon. As you see here, with the super meta comes amazing bulk and safety. Great coverage and consistency. So, it's amazing. And even if I'm using the variation that I'm using before. So, right now, as you see, for what you cover, Talonflame, Typhlosion, two fire type Pokemon are going to be your biggest pain in the butts. So... That's why I'm going to use Power Up Punch. So as you see, Power Up Punch, Metachamp, it doesn't really flip the script too much. Same ratings as you see here, just as effective. And as you see here, you basically just pick up Meganium, which isn't even that bad considering if you have a revved up Metachan, there are plenty of instances where my Metacham has taken its hands and threw hands left and right. The good one too, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest to ever do it. And you just beat the unholy crap out of your opponent's Pokemon. As you see, incredibly powerful. High threat score overall, but honestly, it's a very strong team. If you lose the lead with Sableye, you're either going to sack it in the lead, or you can save switch in the meta champ. A lot of times what I find myself doing is that I will break as many shields with Sableye as much as humanely possible, send in meta champ, and hopefully I can come out with a W. Save your shields for Registeel. Registeel gets energy advantage, has shields, and it will Hadouken and Zap Cannon its way to Oblivion. If you know what Shaniha Tenkyoken is, you're a Gundam fan, and we can be best friends, because I love the Gundam series. Hashtag anime nerds unite. Yeah, for your anime. Anime is amazing. And, but before we get started with the shoutcast, my mental health tip for the day is going to be, well, I've been getting a lot of tips, but this one is basically just going to be about motivation. So... I find a lot of people being like, there is no point in playing this cup because rank Tunny, you get a free Libre and Gladion and the Gladion post. So it's really easy to get. You might as well do it just for the practice and like it's totally free. You don't really have to stress out about it. However, you this gives you the chance to play really different mons. Like I think I mentioned in my last video. So you can mo get practice for the next season when Legend does return. I very likely will compete at a regional. Don't know which one yet, but my schedule will allow me to where I can possibly travel for a weekend and then come back. I'm literally going to go compete that weekend and come back because that's all the time I have because my therapist work keeps me busy. But with that motivation for the next season, if you haven't made Legend yet, I would use whatever you have possible. Just because you aren't level 40, just because you don't have XL, that doesn't mean you can't compete and make Legend and go badly. You make do with what you got. I can make a new account and then do something like of that sort and try to give you a pinch of how you can make it without XLs. Might do that down the road, but factually, a lot of you can make it without XLs. A lot, yes, PV Poke is a wonderful tool, and yes, you have scenarios, etc., that these will allow you to use. However, that depends if the match goes your entire way. Keep on battling, keep on fighting, because a lot of things that Sims say 
will it doesn't go like it's not gonna, like for example if you have a, a really crappy iv mon you can still switch in between a battle unless you're switch locked so unless you're locked into a negative matchup there's a lot of factors that can happen that will cause that matchup to change or a lot of other decisions you can do for example you choose to sack a lead instead of switching out or you save a mon when it's nearly dead so you could save for a sack swap and then you switch out into a, into another mon so you're going to give up switch these are the instances i'm talking about to where you can create win conditions for yourself and be creative so if i can motivate you do your best in every battle you do even if you don't have all the tools go forth and do everything you can it's better to do so it's better to have than not to have when it comes to iv pokemon but at the same time even in battling I may motivate you. I will do all my battles regardless. And that's how I achieve absolute zen. Just keep running through. And no matter how I do, do your battles, get them done. And then practice, practice, practice. And my motivation for you, my mental tip is to just keep on going. Always learn. Never stop trying. Even if you don't have, even if you don't have big guns, you can still make it to legend. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the shoutcast. Some pretty nutty battles. Reggie Steel with Zap Cannon. This is the best Reggie Steel team in Great League. Let's get started. All right, so here are the battles. Again, I would like to express my dismay at how you would give this a, sh a Hadouken from hell. The Metsu Hadouken, which would actually kind of looks like a Metsu Hadouken. All you have to do is like rainbow, like color it differently, as in the Zap Cannon with Registeel. Now we get, we lose the lead right off the bat for the best battle. Now, here's a good thing. You win the lead. You'll beat this matchup if you're able to get a return through shields. If you do, you can straight foul play down for the W. Yeah, you'll go down a shield, but heck, it's worth it. So we're going to shield this. This might be a play rough, and even if it isn't, this is the play. And as you see, our opponent likes to play rough. Bunnies don't belong in Go Bad League. They belong in Vegas, which I don't know. Yeah. One of my buddies mentioned that. They're like, they're like, dude, you know, Azumarill is like, you know, the, like that one place in Vegas. And y'all, some of y'all don't need to know about this, but yes, I forgot what it was. But yeah, there's a place in Las Vegas and y'all shouldn't go there. Y'all should practice go Battle League, etc. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but it was a quote that happened and it just popped up in my mind right now. And I don't know how, why. Anyways, I thought I was going to get Flash Cannon here. I mean, Zap Cannon here. And that's the wrong cannon. You're supposed to use Zap Cannon, not Flash Cannon. Zap Cannon would have really sucked here. But either way, I would have been able to get the power punch, as you see here, and just punch down. Even though we're down shields, I can survive. You don't get stabbed, but that debuff might have actually been bad because I could get more farm. And then we get a hunter. So I'm going to try to get the psychic. And as you see there, I am not able to get the psychic. So my brain is like, okay, I'm in trouble. I do one Shadow Claw over just in case they attempt to try to catch the foul play. Because I'm going to need Sableye for this hunter. They elect to stay in, so what I'm guessing is whatever your back row is, is weak to Sableye. That's why I'm not switching out. I will shield here, and it happens to be a Shadow Punch, which actually kind of sucks. And Azumarill comes back in, but that's perfectly fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. Azumarill was the thing in the lead, except they switched out because it was going to get killed by foul play. And as you see, our opponent elects to play rough. So I'm actually going to lock on down this entire bunny. As you see here, I'm relentlessly tapping. I'm about to lock you down. Lock on down one point damage. And then we're just going to throw all this energy at the freaking at the Haunter in the back. With Haunter being debuffed, they don't really have it. They have to expend their shield here. Haunter being debuffed, no matter what, they should it shouldn't be able to KO our Sableye, and usually they, if you're, even if you're carrying Sludge Bomb, like, yeah. Well, the thing is, Sableye XL resist everything you have to throw at us. So, I probably shouldn't have shielded at first, but heck, it's what it is. As you see, Shadow Punch goes through. All I'm gonna do is send in Sableye. I'm one Shadow Claw away from Foul Play, and all I'm gonna do is go for the charge move, and that's GG's. I hope y'all enjoyed that. But as you see here, even if you lose the lead against Azumarill, you could possibly take it back. Or like I said, if it's not a hard loss, like if it's like a neutral, or even if you do lose and you're going to go down a shield, totally worth it to keep alignment. Because as you see here, you can set up Reggie Steel for Zap Cannon plays. And just Zap Cannon is ridiculously overpowered. Battle number two, and I love the outfit. As you see here, we get Deoxys into Sableye, and this is a great matchup for us. So I'm like, yes, all right, cool. A winning lead. And then we get Stunfisk into our... Sableye, and all I'm going to do is switch in the meta champ. This is why I like Power Up Punch better than Ice Punch, because here's the thing. If you're already going to... If Ice Punch covers the Flyers, like, I get that. But at the same time, you miss a lot of rev up opportunities with meta champ. Because we all know that meta champ 
boosted with power up punch is a freaking destroyer and it gives you a stronger matchup in instances like this being able to farm down an opponent's mod like this and just have all that energy to throw in the back almost guarantees that your opponent's gonna have to shield the psychic that comes in or it's gonna prompt them to take heavy damage so that's why i like having power up punch over ice punch as you see here, plus one Psychic will still do a decent amount of damage against the Deoxys defense. We have Sableye for DD, and right now we're just vibing really hard. And, and like I mentioned, remember that shield pressure that you're able to do just because it's a boosted Psychic? We don't get the debuff, but because it's a plump to one, our opponent is prompted to shield here. It's probably going to be a Thunderbolt, and it is. If it was a Psycho Boost or Rock Slide or anything, it would have killed. And all I'm going to do is send him Ready Steel into his A9, and they should quit out, and that's GG's. I would normally feel bad for kind of hard countering our opponent, but you are using Alolan Charm. You're using Charm Tails, so I have no mercy. No pity, no mercy. You deserved everything that's coming to you, and that's this L. So take this giant L, bro. And speaking of L, our opponent takes the L for the lead. We get Trevenant into Sableye. My opponent switches into Yazoo. So all I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go for the return first. I want shield advantage. Or what I was actually trying to do here was I was trying to catch a play rough. So I try to catch the player off. I will shield the first one though, because if this opponent, if our opponent fires Hydro Pump, I'm going to take heavy damage and it doesn't look like they have Hydro Pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the Zap Cannon and this is going to debuff our opponent. And even if they do somehow have Hydro Pump and was trying to debate me, I should be able to eat the Hydro Pump very comfortably. Zap Cannon goes through, our opponent will shield and we will get the Insta debuff, which is really great. Not great for our opponent now, because now they're like, oh crap. If this is not a Hydro Pump Azu, our opponent is in a lot of trouble because Player of Ice Beam Azu does not do well against Reggie Steel, as you see here. And all we're going to do is I'm going to overcharge just a little bit, just in case our opponent decides to shield, not shield, no shield this Zap Cannon. And then I'll have a little bit of energy left over to throw out the opponent's back mod. And as you see here, they elect to shield anyways. They send in their Trevenant. I will get a little more energy, and I'm going to fire the foul play. I should be able, this should near KO, and then I can Shadow Claw down for the dub. As you see, Foul Play goes off, and then one Shadow Claw should take out our opponent's Trevenant. I have a shield. I have Metachamp still. Azu comes back in. I'm just going to eat the player off mine as well. Save the shield for Reggie Steel, and I'm just going to go ham on whatever's in the back row. Ice Beam goes off, and as you see here, I'm just going to get a little more energy. Overcharge a bit, mine as well, because whatever comes in is going to get trucked. Now, as you see here, Return's going to go through. This won't KO the bunny. However, this will prompt them to fire their move, and it does. So, they're going to fire the player off or an Ice Beam. This will KO, but that's okay. My plan is to lock on down, save the shield for Reggie Steel, and all we're going to do is Hadouken, Turtle Wave, Kamehameha, whatever's in the back. We take down our opponent, and in comes the G-Fisk. All we're going to do is we're going to summon the power from the sky. It was perfect that I made a Dragon Ball Super reference, because you know what? Spirit Bomb coming through. We're going to blast, so I started blasting. Now we're going to send a Metacham. Either they're going to stop tapping, as you see here, or we're just going to have them top left. But they chose death. They chose violence, and they chose death. And as you see here, my Metacham violently smashed this pancake for the W. Win number three, baby. Oh, man. I, like, I was like, wow, this does a lot. Especially the last battle. You're going to see just how nut... Like, it was nutty. So, here comes win number four. We get a Trevenant again. I'm like, oh, this is cool, man. Everybody be using that Trev wall core. So, then that's why Sableye is such a beast in the lead. I go over one just in case. I'm going to shield this. This probably is a seed bomb. And I probably wouldn't be shielding seed bombs. But you know, it's what it is. Seed bomb goes off. I shield. All I'm going to do is fire off the foul play. This will either grab a shield or they're going to let it go. However, because my opponent decided to fire a seed bomb, I'm guessing they're just going to try to sack their lead. As you see here, Trevenant does elect to shield. And my question, my brain is kind of like, why would you do that, sir? So as you see here, we're going to fire this foul play again. This is definitely a seed bomb, but I'm going to shield anyways. All my idea here is hopefully I didn't fire on CMP, but let's be real. I fired on CMP. And as you see, the foul play goes off. I already know they're not going to shield this unless they do shield. And I'm like, why would you make that life choice? And they do elect to shield, which their life choices, uh, that was a bad life choice. As you see here, we're able to win the alignment and we get Politoed. So it's actually good that our opponent decided to fudge up our win con because Politoed has a great match against Reggie Steel in the back. And as you see here, all I'm going to do is just do as much damage humanely possible with my Shadow Claws plus Foul Plays. Chip down this Politoed as much as possible. We still got Metacham XL and I still got a giant trash can in the back. And the giant trash can I mean by like Reggie Steel. And the reason I'm not switching out is because it's not worth it. I don't want to get Medcham locked into a super negative matchup. And again, Reggie Steel doesn't have a great matchup against Politoed. So, want to preserve all of our mons here. I send in Medicham. It's probably going to be a weather ball. Our opponent is totally balling out. Balling out, not like the Warriors yesterday. Man, the Warriors had a terrible L yesterday. Holy mother of mercy. Well, one, if their threes are raining and your threes aren't raining, it's like this weather ball. 
you know, threes aren't raining down. All I'm going to do is punch down the Politoed, and then I'm going to Psychic whatever's in the back for the W, and unfortunately, it is a Bastiodon, and y'all already know how I feel about Bastiodon, so I'm going to beat the unholy living crap out of this stupid Tap Tap Barn that has been literally terrorizing Go Battle League since its inception and release. All the way back three years ago. Actually, was it two years ago that Bastion released? But all I'm going to do is just beat the holy crap out of this. I send in Reggie Steel, and hopefully my opponent tops left just to show you you have no hope of winning. All hope is lost, and that's GG's. And sure enough, they do top left. This was one of, oh my god, it's always satisfying when you beat a Bastion. So satisfying. So sad. Especially with all the fighters going on and wall raid coming out. Why would you use Bastion? Well, makes sense, but still. Next, we get a pretty neutral lead here. We get Ferrothorn in a Sableye, and this actually isn't that bad for my opponent. Just because Bullet Seed charges so fast, my opponent fires on three, and I'm like, why are you mirror shotting me? I mean, I get you get the debuff, but it would have been more worth it to get the power shot off. The power whip off, because if you don't get the debuff like over here, I eat it pretty comfortably and make it way too easy to tell. Foul plays go off, and as you see, I'm just starting to Shadow Claw down because my opponent made a huge mistake. They send me the Azu, and I send Reggie Steel. And this is just nuts to me. Okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going to, to literally beat the unholy crap of this bunny, and if this bunny does not have Hydro Comp like a lot of other bunnies don't have right now, this Azu is in a lot of trouble. Zap Cannon goes off, and we're going to get the debuff. I will shield nothing. I'm going to guess that my opponent does not have Hydro Pump, and if they do not, this is going to cost them their match a lot. As you see here, we're just going to epically... Call the no sh the call the no pump. And as you see, they try to play her off, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm vibing so hard right now. I go a little bit over energy, hit the zap cannon, and then I'm hoping, like, okay, please, please shield. Well, we already have a lot of control of this matchup. Shield or not, you're gonna go down. Now, as you see, we're already this Azu is minus two. There's no reason for me to shield. We're gonna be able to get to another wild char I mean zap cannon. And they actually have hydro pump. But that's how minus two Hydro Pump. Our opponent was just trying really hard to bait. So I'm going to go over energy right here just a little bit. I'm going to fire the Zap Cannon. This should either kill the Azu or get near killing it. So I was like, why don't you just fire Hydro Cannon to begin with? So as you see, we're going to be able to lock on down this Azu. I have two shields. I have an energy lead with this freaking Reggie Steel. And I actually don't know if this one shots are you or not. So like after this... As you see, that's a full Drift Blim. Full Drift Blim gets OKO'd by a Zap Cannon Reggie Steel. I'm like, why did you allow this to live? I send in Sableye and that's GG's. This thing is so overpowered. I actually, when that move, when I saw that Zap Cannon kill that Drift Blim, I just, I just, like, I got up from my chair and I just, like, walked away. And I was like, why? Like, this thing is so overpowered. 5-0 and o with the most powerful Reggie Steel team in Open Great League. And this team is nuts because you do feature two Mega XL Pokemon. And of course, you have the newly buffed Reggie Steel. I really think they should have... I hope you all enjoyed that those battles. The nukes were mighty. The Hadoukens were strong. And Metsu Hadouken. And that equals GG's. I hope you all enjoyed the Shoutcast. Holy crap, this thing is strong. And that's GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you see, Reggie Steel, the giant trash can, you know, the thing that used to be really overpowered in Season 1. Was nerfed in Season 2, but it's still freaking overpowered regardless. Now has a very powerful move that zaps its way... Yeah. Zap Cannon is just way too OP. No, seriously, it's just way too OP. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have Reggie Steel with Zap Cannon, this thing is super beastly, and this team, if you plan on using it, as you see here, runs through a lot and does deserve its place as the most powerful Reggie Steel team in Open Great League. Now, would you do me a huge favor? Please like and subscribe. It's totally free. Or put comment for the YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it. And there's also these two Charmanders right here. If you would please do me a favor, uh, you could easily subscribe by just putting your mouse over it. You see the sub body in the bottom, right? Put your mouse over it. Bam. By the dumb I'm you're done you're listening to sound my voice you easily subscribed and again i really do appreciate my current subscribers love y'all to death thank you for all the support and looking forward to the future of what brings us after season 11 but until then have fun zap counting everything any one of your opponents to death and slowly climbing your way to rank 20 good luck in your gold battle league sets and i will see you guys on the next video Ciao.